At Sash, 13-week-old Teo is in excruciating pain. Yep, that's where it's coming from. I can't exclude trauma as a possible cause. So he could have an injury to his spine or his spinal cord or even the muscles around the neck. But what I really need to work out is has he got something else underlying and this was just a coincidence. We have to fix him. I can't imagine not fixing him. It's too much dog. <laughs> Anna and Paul have made a 600 kilometre journey to Sash with their beloved pup, Teo. Easy, huh? Oh, 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 oh. The 13 week old is in excruciating pain after a play fight with another pup went horribly wrong. We think he took a tumble trying to walk. He was screaming. Just wouldn't stop screaming every time he moved. He, he was just screaming. I'm really worried that it, it's something that could ultimately end his life. Yeah, it's so... <laughs> oh, baby. Hello. Hello. I'm Lisa. I'm one of the emergency vets. Hi. How are you? Well, thank you. Who have we got over here? This is Teo. OK. And what's happened? Um, he was playing and we, we think something happened. He, we, we think he, he rolled over and then seemed to be unable to walk without screaming. OK. I'm just constant screaming. We're not talking, oh, oh, we're talking, oh, 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 scream. And he's been a, a healthy puppy? Yes. So he's never had a problem before this came on really suddenly? Suddenly. And he, he just looks pretty miserable there, doesn't he? He's very unhappy. Well, what I'm going to need to do is see him walking around. Um, OK. If, if you don't mind popping him down on the ground so I can just see what his movement is like. He's in a lot of pain, and something like this has to be caused by something pretty serious. I can't exclude trauma as a possible cause. So he could have an injury to his spine or his spinal cord or even the muscles around the neck. But what I really need to work out is has he got something else underlying and this was just a coincidence. He's wagging his tail, that's a good thing, and he's actually got the ability to walk. All right, honey. OK, let's pop him up on the table and I'll take a better look at him. It's so difficult for me to see Teo in so much pain that I can't even imagine how hard it is for his owners to see him like this. He's like their child and screaming in agony has got to be really traumatic for them as well. Poor oh boy. Lisa is hoping a full health check will help determine the cause of Teo's pain. It's really important with a young dog to make sure that he hasn't got a fever as well as this, because it could be something pretty serious if that's the case. All right, puppy. His temperature's normal. Okay. He's really sore. It's just like, I don't know where to touch him, where the pain's actually coming from. Initially, you couldn't touch him anywhere. It was like it was coming from everywhere. Even though I know Teo is in agony, in order to try and work out what's going on, I'm going to actually have to try and touch the areas where it's sore, and this is really going to hurt. All right, sweetie. Watching their young pup in pain proves all too much for Anna and Paul. I need to be able to fix him. We have to fix him. I can't not fix him. That's not an option. We have to fix him. I can't imagine not fixing him. It's too much dog. <laughs> oh, sweetie, OK. All right, darling. It's every time he moves, isn't it? It's heart wrenching. All right, honey. At Sash, 13 week old Teo is in excruciating pain. All right, sweetie. Anna and Paul have travelled more than 600 kilometres to find out exactly what's wrong with their beloved pup. We just wanted him to stop crying. That, that's all, just stop crying, please. We, that's the hardest thing, to have to listen to him cry. All right, his tummy's not painful. It's certainly not coming from there. OK. Yep, that's where it's coming from. It really seems to be his neck and his shoulder area. It's really just localising to this area up here. The rest of his back seems OK. Fortunately, his nerves 
seemed to be functioning normally. His temperature's normal and the rest of his vital signs are all normal, but he's in a lot of pain, as you can see. What could he have done? I mean, it could just be muscular. He could also have a problem that he was born with, so some sort of a structural problem with his spine. But more seriously is if he's done something to the bones in his spine or even the nerves there. And that can certainly also cause pain like this. Depending on what he's done, sometimes surgery is needed and sometimes it's not. So I'm not going to ignore the fact that the playing could be a trauma, but uh, he could also have a serious illness like meningitis going on, which could cause pain like this. If it's meningitis, I don't know what I'll do. If it's a spinal injury, I... Oh, I, I don't even want to think about it. The next step would be to image the area. Because he's in so much pain, I think doing a CT scan would give us our best information. It will allow us to look at the bones of his neck and, and uh, shoulder area. While we're doing that, we can also get a sample of his spinal fluid. So it's like a lumbar puncture, and that will allow us to work out whether he's got meningitis or not. So we're, we're getting a lot of information by doing this CT scan. For Paul and Anna, it will be a long, anxious wait for answers. There's a bit of panic, there's a bit of stress that we can't fix him. If I can't, if I can't fix him, I don't, we can't replace him. Can I just lend some Can I just Yeah. Ready? At SASH, TAO CT scan is about to begin. Good boy. Specialist surgeon Dr Steve Fernside is hoping the scans will give a clear diagnosis of what's causing the 13-week-old pup's severe neck pain. So little Tao's come in. Uh, he's a pretty sick little dog. He's got an extremely sore neck. So our next step is to do a CT scan on him. CT is like a three-dimensional X-ray. So it allows us to look in a great deal more detail at the structures of his neck to try and define what the cause of his pain is. For Steve, Tao's case is a diagnosis of exclusion. So what we're really concerned about with Tao is that he suffered a serious injury to his neck. Uh, the other possibility is he's got some disease like meningitis or something like that that could be causing severe pain. And obviously, it's difficult to talk to a puppy and communicate with a puppy about what's happened. So we've got to investigate all the possible causes. And the most serious being that he could have caused a serious uh, damage to the bones and structures of his neck. Teo's owners, Paul and Anna, are anxiously waiting for answers. I hope that that's going to tell me that we can yeah. fix him. And quickly. I just want him to be fixable. Yeah. Not knowing is horrible. It, it really is horrible. There's something there. It's large. It doesn't take long for Steve to spot a problem. He's got something happening. I don't know what it is. There's something happening at about T... See this on the left side of his cord here? It looks like there's something that's pushing into the spinal cord in the lower part of the neck. Uh, it's an area that's quite deep within the neck. So what we're going to do with Tao is give a little bit of dye into the system, which allows us to take another CT scan and allows us to get more detail of the area that we're particularly interested in. It's a little bit intriguing. When we get to this location here, we can see there's something starting to push on the left side of his spinal cord. And then once it's finished, the spinal cord sits back in its normal position. I think the possibilities are two. One, he could have suffered an injury to his neck. He's got a blood clot around the spinal cord. The second thing is, it's very unusual in a younger dog, he's actually ruptured a disc uh, as a result of a playing or something like that with another dog. And that's, the disc is herniated up next to the spinal cord. I have to be honest, I really haven't seen anything like this in a pup of this age. Although the scans are showing evidence of trauma, Steve needs to rule out any other conditions that may be causing Tao's symptoms. So what we're going to do now is just do a lumbar puncture on little Tao to get some spinal fluid. And that's going to go away to the laboratory to be analysed. Uh, and that helps us to check if he's got meningitis or something like that. 
So I have to say he is unusual to say the least, but we'll get to the bottom of it one way or another. With no definitive answer, the wait continues for Teo's distraught owners, Paul and Anna. You run from the worst case scenario, what do we do if we have to put him down? I can't do anything for him. And it, I, I hate that. I, I hate that limitation on myself. It's going to be a little while yet. Uh, it's very hard for the owners because they want to, to know what's wrong and, and how to treat him and, and whether he's going to be able to live a normal life. And uh, they're answers that are hard to, hard to give them at the moment. Oh, Anna, come on through. I've met little Tao. He's a lovely little dog. Yes. Thank you. At Sash, Steve finally has some news for Tao's worried owners, Paul and Anna. So these are pictures of his neck. So see how the spinal cord gets distorted and pushed across to the right. So there's something sitting in the spinal canal outside his spinal cord pushing on it. It's oh, wow. Standing. Okay. Look, oh, he hasn't got any broken bones, so a lot of the nasty things that we will sort of look for yeah. is good. Um, I think the worst case scenario for him is that he's got some sort of infection there, and they can be challenging to treat, to be honest. I won't sort of beat around the bush with you on that. I think the best case scenario and the most likely thing is that he's been had a rough and tumble with his mate, he's injured his neck, and he's got some bruising there that will, over the period of time, will dissipate. All right? Yeah, but you want to have a quick visit with him? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I'll just see if he's having a sleep. He was pretty sleepy there before. So Teo's a really tough case because it's really hard to make a de definitive answer as to what's caused his problem. But we have some fairly strong suspicions. This is my baby. Hello. Oh, good boy. Hello. I'm just glad he's awake. I'm glad he's happy. He looks better already. That's. I. I just. It's nice to see him so pleased and so happy. In an ideal world, every animal that would walk in, we'd have an answer within five minutes and then be able to treat it within ten. Um, life's just not like that. Life's a lot more complicated. Everyone is now desperately hoping the test results from the lumbar puncture will give them a definitive answer on what's wrong with little Teo. Goodbye. All right, now Teo. Spinal fluid results. Later that day, the results of Little Tao's lumbar puncture are finally in. The news is good. I mean, they reported them as uh, normal, which is great. So they're a big relief that he doesn't have meningitis or some of the problem that puppies can get like that. So that's terrific. It's one thing to tick off the list, which is good. Steve is now confident he knows the cause of Tao's excruciating pain. My feeling is that he's probably had an injury to his neck, suffered during a play with, with, his, with his mates. It is pretty unusual to see an injury that's caused some bleeding around his spinal cord. But I guess puppies will be puppies. They'll play, they'll do things that are rough, they'll grab each other around the neck, they'll shake each other. So these things can certainly happen. Steve hopes that medication and rest will help the German Shepherd pup to recover. There is a possibility that we might need to operate on Teo. It's not something that we want to do because he's very young and the area that is affected is incredibly difficult to access. So we're certainly going to use that as a last resort, but it may be required. Hey there, little mate. You had your brekkie? Good boy. Come on. Hello. How are you doing? Oh, you're feeling a bit better, aren't you? Come on, sport. Come on, Teo. Good boy, that's the way. Oh, you're doing great, mate. Well done. Next day at Sash, there's some exciting news for brave little Teo. Teo's doing a lot better. He's more comfortable, the medication is starting to work, and we're happy that he's heading in the right direction. So the good news is that he can go home. Come on, Teo. There's a good boy. It's been an incredibly difficult few days for owners Paul and Anna, but finally they've got the news they've been so desperate for. This morning, Steve has some answers for us, and yes, we can take baby home. So I'm, I'm really pleased with that. I'm really happy. Come on, good boy. Good boy. Look who's here. Look who's here. There we are, team. I'm really pleased with him. He's a good boy. I'm really pleased with him. Actually, he was out there jumping around, you know, like there was nothing wrong with him. So. I think he's doing a lot better. I'm very pleased with him, guys. So. Baby! He's a good boy. Yeah. He's a good boy. Taylor looks great. He can walk. He walked to me. He's throwing his paws at me. He's looking great. He looks fantastic.
day by day, every day he's getting better, his limp's gone away, he's getting out of the cage now without crying, his pain is much, much more controlled, he's happy, he's eating really well. Um, so I think, guys, he's, he's on the road to recovery. It's really important now that Teo takes it easy at home. He's missed by a whisker suffering a really serious injury. He needs to take it easy for a period of time, so he needs to stay really nice and quiet. You'll be good. Don't, be, don't play rough with your brothers and sisters. <laughs> don't give anyone too much trouble, and be good for your mum and dad. He'll be good. He'll be good. All right, guys. I'll leave you with him. It's been a pleasure. Thank you. Thanks, Paul. Have a safe trip, and we'll keep in touch. I'm very relieved to send Taya home. It's lovely to see him back with his pack, back with his owners, back with his mates, and uh, making a good recovery. Come on, Dad. Let's go home. Oh, he's such a good boy. Come on. Such a good boy. Such a good boy. If you guys loved that video, great. Make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel below. That way.